Welcome to our final video in our series on branching scenarios, H5P branching scenarios. And this video will be based on using a course presentation within the branching scenario. Okay, so I'll show you how to add slides uh, within the course presentation and adding those to your branching scenario. Let me show you how this is done. Okay, so now we're ready to finalize chapter three. Now in chapter three, we'll be using the course presentation. Okay, then we will have covered every element here. So let's first select our branching question. So let's add a question. And this will be our question here. So we'll add a question title. So this will be question three. So I'll type in question three. And then my question text, I'll just copy and paste it from my Word document. So there's my question. And then I have my two options. So my option one will be, the first one will be the dentist. And the second one will be the scientist. Okay. Okay. And then the different branching options. Okay. I'll click on done. So there's my two options. Option A, which is the dentist. Option B, which is the scientist. And now I'll add my videos. So I'll drag my video underneath A1. And then I'll go and fetch my video. So my video will be in my videos folder. And it will be my dentist. I'll open that. I'll leave everything on its default. And I'll just... So yeah, this is option one. Video and I'll click on done. And then my option two video, which goes there. This will be the scientist. Scientist there, I'll open it. And this will be my scientist. Okay, I'll click done. So there's my two videos. Okay, now I can provide feedback. So I'll provide my feedback for option one. And this will basically be text. So I'll drag the text over here. This is feedback. Click on done. And then my feedback too. I'll click on done. So there's my my chapter three done. So after the question, they move on to option video, the video and then the feedback. Okay, so after the feedback, I want this to be the ending slide. I'm not going to up until eight, chapter eight. I'll stop here for the sake of time. Okay, so I'll stop here. So I'll go to my gear icon. I'll click on edit and this will be my final slide once they've um, mastered this. So this will be my custom end scenario. And yeah, I can provide the feedback. Okay, so I'll do the feedback later on. Let's go to our second feedback. So here we will add the course presentation. To add a course presentation, let's drag the course presentation just below the feedback. Remember, you can add your, you can start with your course presentation right at the beginning of your branching scenario, or you can use it anywhere in your branching scenario to provide extra information for your students. So we'll call this a course presentation. And on this, in this area here, you can either add text, you can add links, you can add images, you can add shapes, video, anchors to go to a next slide or a particular slide. So if I use a shape like a button, I can add an anchor to that particular button and go to that particular page. I can add audio. I can add fill in the blank questions. 
single choice, multiple choice, true or false questions, drag and drop. I can add a summary where they need to um, order the summary. If I click on the ellipsis icon here, there's other options like drag the words, mark the words, dialog cards, there's continuous text, there's exportable text, there's tables, interactive videos, there's Twitter feeds, there's audio recorder, and then right at the bottom there's an image choice. Okay, so for this we'll only add slides to our presentation just to provide students with more information, but on subsequent videos that I will um, design, I will delve deeper into the course presentation or the presenta H5P presentation um, activity. Okay, so for now we'll just add slides. So to add a slide, you can click on, uh, we, we will add the slide to the either background or the particular slide. So for that, we'll go to background. And remember, we'll want to add it to this slide and we want an image background. Okay, so I've created image backgrounds. So I'll go to my H5P folder and I'll go to jobs and this will be my first slide. I'll open that and this will become my first slide. Okay, so what is a job? Then I'll add a new slide. Again, I will add a background image to this slide and I'll click on add and this will become this will be my second one this is on firefighters so I'll add that and then I'll close that add a new slide and then I'll add my third one so there's the firefighter remember our course is based or this chapter 3 is based on the dentist and the scientist so it's nothing it it has nothing to do with a firefighter or what, but I'm just showing you how to add the slides to the background. Okay, so once that is done, so my next slide will be background, this slide, add. So at the back I have a scientist, so there's my scientist there. I'll open that. Okay, and then I'll add a new slide. I'll just add the background there. There's my second one and then my last one. Add a new slide. So for this slide, add. And there's my final slide. I'm not going to do more uh, for time's sake. Uh, so from here, this, so this will be my presentation. I can select behavior settings. I can activate or active surface mode. I can hide summary slides. I can override show solutions, I can override retry, uh, and then my social settings can be display a Facebook share icon, a Twitter share, or a Google share icon. And then afterwards, what they need to do after they've watched the uh, presentation, so under advanced behavioral settings, I want them to jump to another branch, and then other, the other branch will be the third question uh, where's my chapter three there's my chapter three image and there's my chapter three question just look at where's my uh there we go the dentist there's my third question i'll click on done i can provide feedback and so forth but i'll leave that for now i'll click on done so there's my course presentation so after they've watched the course presentation they need to jump back to my question and now you'll see that we only have one issue here. So I'll click on that issue. I'll click on that. And it shows me the uh, good job. So let's look at what the problem is here. Edit. Um, they, there's my feedback. They should go to. Okay, so they want us to add feedback. So this is my final feedback. And this is basically my congratulations message. So I'll just copy and paste it from my Word document. I'll just copy and paste it there. I'll copy it and I'll paste it in here. Okay. And I can even have an image. I'll add the image. Oops. So this will be my, that will be my heading. I'll undo that. That will be my heading. And this will be my text. Okay. 
and here I'll add an image. So I'll go back to my bronzing scenario. So for that I will add my image. So I'll add this image here. Open. So there we go, Community Heroes, and that's that. I'll click on Done, and now you'll see it becomes zero because I've provided feedbacks, and this is my end slide. And here you'll see there's a little flag there. Okay, so we'll leave it for now. I'll click on Preview. I'll jump to my third question there, my third chapter. Okay, so there's my third chapter. I'll proceed. I'll answer the question incorrectly. There's my video on a scientist. I'll proceed. So there's my feedback. I'll proceed. So this is my course presentation. They can go through the course presentation. And once they're done, they click on proceed. And now they can select the correct option. So there's my correct option. They can see what a dentist does. And now they can proceed. Good proceed and there's my congratulations um, done that and now you can restart the course okay so that's that okay so let's go back to edit we're done now there's no issues we can click on proceed to save we can scroll down we can even provide a description here but let's leave that for now we can scroll down under grades, we can leave it on 10 or you can specify a grade here. We can specify restrictions. We can specify activity completion and we want students to show activity as complete. When the conditions are met, what do you want to do? The students need to receive a grade. Okay, so now very important. Remember when we first did the settings. Okay, we leave we left the scoring unchecked. Okay, so click on scoring and then for this, if you want scoring, you can click on dynamically calculate the score from user answers. And that will include the scores from interactions within the branching scenario. This is very important if you want to capture the grades within the grade book. You need to set the scoring. Okay. So that's done. I'll click on save and display and there we go that's all finished now and ready for the users to interact with it i really hope this video was helpful uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do so it will take you less than one second to subscribe or to like or to hit the bell icon so please do uh, and support my channel for more uh, quality videos on Moodle, h5p as well as e-learning and online course development